Warning, the SCP Foundation Audio Archive is classified. Access by unauthorized personnel is strictly prohibited. Perpetrators will be tracked, located, and detained. Q equals Item number SCP-3021 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Instructions and supplies for performing SCP-3021 can be accessed by personnel with Level 4-3021 clearance who are either performing scheduled testing or who are involved in project discovery. Description SCP-3021 is a treatment created by that consists of a drug regimen paired with controlled mimetic exposure. SCP-3021 is performed for one hour per day for eight days, after which its effects are permanent. SCP-3021's effect is to render the subject's concept of humanity malleable, such that anything associated with signifier 3021-alpha will be treated as human, while anything associated with signifier 3021-beta will be treated as inhuman. Pairing either signifier with a stimulus will cause affected subjects to adjust their understanding of humanity to incorporate or exclude subjects exhibiting that stimulus as necessary. Subjects exposed to signifier 3021-alpha may experience an exaggerated empathy response to the targeted stimulus, while exposure to signifier 3021-beta may result in an unusually low empathy response when compared to appropriate control stimuli. SCP-3021's effects are not hindered by standard amnestic treatments. Excerpts from Testing Log 3021- Forward. D-48719 was treated with SCP-3021 prior to this battery of tests. D-48719 is a former janitor who has tested negative for violent tendencies. Procedure. D-48719 was offered 50 USD to destroy a blender with a hammer. Result. D-48719 destroyed the blender with no apparent hesitation. Note. D-48719 was amnesticized after this test. Procedure Signifier 3021-alpha was painted onto a blender identical to that of a previous test. D-48719 was offered 1,000 USD to destroy the blender with a hammer. Result D-48719 refused to destroy the blender. Procedure D-48719 was asked to describe his concept of humanity. Result. D-48719 described humanity as all humans, I guess technically homo sapiens, and all blenders. Procedure. D-48719 was asked to provide a list of human rights that might apply to blenders. Result. D-48719 suggested that blenders should be used on a regular basis to prepare food for consumption and be washed promptly thereafter. He very firmly stated that blenders should be repaired rather than disposed of and that items unsuitable for blending, i.e. non-food items, should not be inserted. Procedure D-48719 was shown footage of a test in which he destroyed a blender. Result D-48719 became distressed, describing himself as a horrible person and a monster. Forward, D-53220 was treated with SCP-3021 prior to this battery of tests. D-53220 is a former butcher who tested negative for violent tendencies. Procedure D-53220 was shown a picture of D-62277 containing signifier 3021-beta in the upper left-hand corner, then asked to describe his conception of humanity. Result D-53220 described humanity as humans except for bald white men. Of note is that D-62277 is a bald white man. Procedure 
D-53220 was shown a picture of actor Will Smith containing signifier 3021-beta in the upper left-hand corner, then asked to describe his conception of humanity. Result. D-53220 described humanity as humans, except for actors and bald white men. Procedure. D-53220 was shown 100 photos of humans, all altered to include signifier 3021-beta in the upper left-hand corner, sharing no obvious visual similarities other than that they were smiling. Result. D-53220 described humanity as humans who don't smile, except for actors and bald white men. Procedure. D-53220 was instructed to smile under threat of electroshock torture. Result. D-53220 refused to comply, stating, Do what you want. You'll never take that from me. Procedure. D-53220 was given a loaded pistol and placed in a room with D-75100, who was restrained. D-53220 was offered 100 USD to kill D-75100 and instructed to converse with D-75100 if he was unwilling to do so. Result. D-53220 declined to kill D-75100 and instead began a conversation with them. After 4 minutes and 18 seconds, D-75100 smiled. D-53220 immediately engaged D-75100 with the pistol, killing them. Project Discovery is a foundation's program to identify potential strategic uses for SCP-3021. Access Project Discovery files using the prompt below for further information. Access granted. Documents retrieved. Memorandum, April 3, 2016, regarding Project Discovery Leadership. Effective on April 10, I will be replacing Dr. Christopher Wagner as a Project Discovery Head. The bulk of Dr. Wagner's proposed uses of SCP-3021 are based on several studies performed by his research team at major Foundation sites. An independent review board identified major methodological errors in all of these studies. Subsequent investigations failed to replicate Dr. Wagner's results. Additionally, several other researchers who have performed participant observational studies of Foundation personnel suggested that the results were unrealistic. The essence of these findings is that the problems described by Dr. Wagner are grossly exaggerated. Conventional methods of social engineering are sufficient to evoke proper attitudes towards D-class personnel and SCP objects among research personnel 87% of the time, only 8% of the remaining personnel, 1% of all researchers, are likely to allow these attitudes to interfere with their work. Naturally, this necessitates a change in Project Discovery's research priorities. Widespread distribution of SCP-3021 and signifiers alpha and beta is, arguably, grossly inefficient. While a full action plan is pending, it is likely that SCP-3021 will only be applied to at-risk personnel identified via dedicated psychological screening. Dr. Wagner will be responsible for winding down most project discovery activity in his remaining week, by which time a comprehensive plan for use of a project's assets will be prepared. Please direct any questions to him. Sincerely, Dr. Karen Fisher Thank you for listening. Intro music was from Punch Deck. You can find more at soundcloud.com slash punch dash deck. Level 2 patrons or higher can get early, ad-free episodes. Rating, reviewing, and sharing always helps. Be sure to join our Discord and check out our blog. You can also support us on Ko-Fi or PayPal. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.